Hello everyone! I'm so excited because we are on day four of the 14 day Ravana vegan hashtag Ravana fit challenge. And if you haven't signed up for the challenge and you want to receive your shopping list, daily meal plans and workout plans directly to your email, you can do so by subscribing at Ravana.com in the challenge section, the hashtag Ravana fit. So in this video, I will talk about some symptoms that you might be going through in the detox process and my top seven tips to combat them. So I know that when I was first going through the detox symptoms, I had headache, I was breaking out, and I had a lot of mucus. These might be some symptoms you are experiencing. Other people have nausea, indigestion, diarrhea. Other people have a lot of energy. Um, but Anyways, it's always up and down and it's important to know that it's a process. So I hope these seven top tips really help you to keep on going and stay strong in this challenge. All right, so tip number one is sleep. Sleep is like super crucial. My sleep times are just sacred. Sleeping is very important because your body regenerates, your body is healing. So during this time, I really recommend that you take some extra time to sleep. Like maybe sleep, if you sleep seven hours, try sleeping eight or nine hours. If you like to take naps, take naps during the day. So rest, sleep, very important. Tip number two is drink lots of water. This is my water bottle, okay? This is like, 2.5 liters and this is the amount that I recommend at least two to three liters per day It's very important to stay hydrated because your body also eliminates toxins through urine So keeping that very clean is very very important because besides it like being hydrated gives you more energy Your digestion is better. So overall it just really is gonna make this process a lot better So tip number two is drink water Tip number three is walk. As I said in one of my other videos, just taking 20, 30, 30 minutes to walk, uh, maybe do some stretches, getting your lymphatic system moving, exercising, choose the exercise that you like the most and do that. It's very important to rest, but it's also very important to keep moving. So your body's also gonna eliminate toxins through sweat and just keeping your blood flowing your um, heart rate going a little bit is really gonna help and just make this process a lot better. Tip number four is that you have to remind yourself why you're doing this challenge. So I really recommend that you go out in nature. For example, I love hiking. I do hiking like two to three, well no, one to two times a week. And I personally like it because I just disconnect from everything. I don't really take my phone. I don't like taking music. And I just take that time to be with myself, to pray, to meditate, and to just center myself in the present because that's really the most important thing that we have right now. So my tip is to go out in nature, enjoy the beautiful things that this world gives us. Tip number five is write down five things that you are grateful for today. For me, it's very important to keep a grateful mindset because that really keeps me positive and keeps me going with a positive mindset throughout my day, which is very important. I always watch my, my thoughts. Am I talking negative to myself? So really writing down what you eat, what you drink, what you exercise, what your thoughts are, I did this during my detox process, I did this during my water fast, and it really helped me because I go back to those writings and I see, wow, I was growing so fast, I was learning so much in such a short period of time. So I really recommend that you write down what you're grateful for and what you're going through. Tip number six is dry brushing. Dry brushing is great um, because it really just eliminates all the dead skin cells from your skin. It fe like you feel your skin super, super smooth after doing it, so you can do it on your arms, on your legs, always going through the direction of the heart. So from your arms, you're going up, and from your legs, you're going up as well. Uh, you can do this in the shower. I personally like to do dry skin brushing, so I'll do it outside of the shower, and it just really helps a lot. <laughs> Finally, tip number seven is some essential oils that I personally recommend. 
For example, lavender oil, I really like to sleep better. I put some drops on my pillow when I feel tired but I can't sleep and it really just helps me relax and I sleep so much better. Whereas some nights I would wake up more during the night with lavender oil, I don't wake up as much. And another essential oil that I recommend is peppermint oil. All you have to do is just smell it a little bit and you really feel more energized and your headache will lean down. <laughs> so final tip is essential oils. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed so that you can keep up with this challenge. I'll see you guys tomorrow for day five of the hashtag Ravana Fit Challenge. Remember that if you're participating in the challenge, upload your pictures to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter using the hashtag Ravana Fit so that we can keep this community together full of support and you can stay strong during this challenge. I send you all love, light, thank you for everything, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>